there are some Windows myths that are still going around like we're still using Windows 95. That's like believing that the Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure that can be seen from space or thinking that instantly going outside with wet hair will mean you will catch a cold. None of this is true. So let's get busting some of those Windows myths. Myth number one, you will corrupt your data if you just pull out the USB flash drive without safely ejecting it first. Most of us simply yank out that drive when we're done from that computer. But for some reason, there is someone who always says that it's not safe to do that. And it can actually lead to data corruptions if you don't right click on it and then choose eject. In the past, we had slow hardware and depending on the size of the file, it took a while to copy that file to the flash drive. Therefore, Windows had something called write cache enabled, which sped up the USB disk writing of the data. Since 2018, Windows had put quick remove function, which is enabled by default. This quick removal disables the writing cache for the USB. This means that the USB flash drive is being kept constantly at the state of being removed safely therefore yes you can just yank out the drive whenever you're ready now obviously if you're copying a file to the usb flash drive and it's midway just pulling out the drive will mean that the file hasn't had time to be copied over but since it's a copy the original file will still be on your computer even if you move a file to the usb your computer will still copy the file over to the flash drive and only once it's successfully copied then it will remove it from your computer so either way your file is still safe. As long as you aren't in the middle of copying something over to the flash drive or working actively on a file on that flash drive, yes, you can just yank it out of this computer and no need to eject it first. Right, myth number two is defragging regularly to keep your computer running optimally. Look, this defrag utility rearranges the data on your hard drive so that your system could access the data quicker and wouldn't have to find the bits and pieces of data from all over your drive. This used to be really important and did make a noticeable difference as the computer could access that data faster. However, today, if you have a semi-decent computer, and even if you're still using hard drives, you won't notice much of a difference if you run the defrag. The resources are optimized in such a way that the information is accessed quickly enough for you not to even notice. And if you have a solid state drive and SSD, then you should actually not run defrag at all. It could shorten the life of your drive since SSD has no moving parts, no heads that need to go find the data, and the data is stored differently than on regular hard drives. So should you run defrag regularly to speed up your computer? Nope. Myth number three is game mode reduces performance if you are not a gamer. This is a weird one that has resurfaced recently. So in your windows, you have the option to enable or disable a feature called game mode. You can find it by going to the search, typing game mode, and by default, it is switched on. And frankly, many people don't even know that it's there. The rumor going around is that you should always disable it as it can actually hurt the performance if you are not a gamer. So what does game mode actually do? The idea behind game mode is that it allows you to focus on the game that you're playing. So whilst you are playing, it throttles background apps and resources from your computer aren't diverted elsewhere. It gets rid of notifications so you won't be disturbed while playing and it stops Windows from running things like updates in the background. Your game gets the top priority and everything else takes a back seat. But that's the thing. It works if you are playing a game. If you're not and have a semi-decent system, having it on or off doesn't seem to make much of of a difference. This used to be a big deal back in the old days when people try to squeeze as much hardware as possible out of their system to game. Today, there are ways like faster processors, GPUs. This isn't much of a thing, and especially if you're not a gamer. So does game mode reduce performance if you're not a gamer? I have not seen evidence that it does. Myth number four is that the antivirus slows down your computer. And oh boy, do I hear this a lot because I speak about security on this channel. Look, as you know, when any program runs, it uses up resources, mainly in the form of memory. It needs to be able to access certain bits of code quickly so you can keep it in memory rather than writing it to your hard drive, which is slower. Same applies for the antivirus. It runs various components on your computer so that it can keep your computer safe. It has agents that check web browsing, an agent that check file downloads, an agent that scans email, a whole bunch more, and all of these bits of pieces take up space in memory. 
in the old days when computer had four gigs of RAM and having all these agents run, yes, it did take up a big part of the memory. This meant that there was less space left for your regular programs to run, which resulted in your computer seemingly running slow as you try to use applications. However, today software is optimized and our systems have far more RAM and faster processors and better management of system resources. Yes, if you run a full system antivirus scan in the middle of downloading large files whilst doing a full backup and watching 4K movies, you could see an issue. This is why those full computer scans and those full backups are typically run at night when we're not using our computer. But if you're just doing your basic day-to-day -day working on your computer and having the antivirus running in the background, you're probably not gonna notice any difference. So does running an antivirus slow down your machine? Not in any meaningful way. Are there any other common myths that you keep hearing about? Let us know in the comments. And if you really wanna know if adding more memory to your computer will make your computer faster, well, definitely check out this video right over here. Hit the head down here to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up before you head out. And I'll see you in this video or this video or both. Let's go.